How are you going to show us a beautiful episode of the gang going to the beach, having a great time, and then fast forwarding to current time towards the ending of the episode and showing us that Hido doesn't remember? Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another review of 2521. Episode 10 was amazing. It was fun. It was, oh, just beautiful. Just seeing the gang go to the beach and just have fun. I mean, what is there to complain about? There really isn't. Uh, we now know everyone's family story, and ji really got a lot of spotlight in this one, more than he ever had in previous episodes. But with all of that beautifulness, you know, just going to the beach, eating, having fun and whatnot, and also adding in the fact that the girls were a little awkward after they took a shower together, except for ji I think he's into Ija now after seeing him naked, but with all of that beautifulness, the ending is what stuck in my head, and now I want to know what exactly happened. I mean, if you think about it, in current time, the only person we see all the time from that group is Hido and no one else. So anyway, let's not beat around the bush. Let's get to it. The first thing I want to talk about, and this is going to be really quick, is the producer guy. Man, he is such a... Mm. Ejin, he went to go apologize to him. It wasn't for his benefit. It was pretty much for the workers working with them. You know, if those two are in a room together, things are going to get awkward. So he went to apologize, but of course... He's that type of character to act all high and mighty. I really hope there's a moment where Ejin outshines the producer. I know that the producer, you know, he had some of his own ideas and Ejin, he had a vision on what the documentary is going to be about. Hopefully it does really well and all of the credit goes to Ejin, outshines him. And then, I don't know, maybe one day the producer is going to ask Ejin for help and whatnot. But right now he's just... <clears throat> So I felt bad for Yudum at one point of the episode. It was when her dad came home and gave her a CD player. I mean, this whole situation is making her feel uneasy only because, you know, considering her family's financial situations, you know, they just took out another loan and they're in more debt. And the fact that her parents are showering her with gifts, it's, yeah, it's just making her feel uncomfortable. I do love and adore the fact that she can turn to ji you know, just to have someone to talk to and express how she feels. And speaking of ji was it really faster to ride on a wheelchair to chase down the students who were stealing their cushions rather than running? Now it's time to talk about the beach. This was a feel-good moment for the drama. You know, just seeing the gang, just forget about what's going on in their lives for that one moment and just hang out with each other, play in the water, eating together. It was just, again, a feel-good moment. And I couldn't help but just think back to when I was in high school, you know, just hanging out with my friends, forget about schoolwork for, for a short while, forget about what's going on at home, and just enjoy each other's company. Did you guys smile when you guys were watching them hang out at the beach? Because I was smiling from cheek to cheek. So Ejin decided to take Hido and Yudim to the beach, you know, just to record them having fun on a school trip for the documentary. And it was really funny to see Sung Wan persuading Ejin to let her and Ji Yoon go with them with food. You know, the first time he was like, ah, oh, this girl, but he ate it anyway. The second time, same thing. Third time, you would think the third time's a charm, and of course he ate it, but then when the fourth time came, there was no food. <laughs> I love how it started off as Sung Wan trying to persuade Ejin and the tables turn and sort of making it seem like she was blackmailing him. So when the whole gang was at the beach, we do get a very nice moment between the five. And we actually now know everyone's family situation. We know that Ejin's family was forced to split. His parents was forced to divorce because of the IMF crisis. Hido is just living with her mom. Her dad passed away. Yudim, she's living with her mom most of the time. Her dad is never at home. He's always working, but they both love her. Sung Wan, she lives with her mom. We don't really know much about her dad. And for Ji Yoon, we found out in this episode that both his parents are divorced. Let's not forget that one little awkward moment between the girls, you know, with Hido doing that awkward laugh. <laughs> because they they took a shower together and it was their first time. But then when Ji Yoon and Ee Jin came out of the shower, Ji Yoon was just like all touching Ee Jin because of how muscular he is. It was, oh my god, this is so good. <sighs> now let's talk about the episode. It, it caught me off guard. I thought this whole thing was going to be a feel-good episode. You know, 
we are looking into Hido's life in high school. You know, seeing her go to the beach with her friends. Yeah, feel good moment, right? But then they just threw us a curveball and... Alright, so after the beach scene, we jumped into current time. Minche is in the car with her mom. Minche asks her mom, can they go on a trip because she never went on her school trip because of training. Hido says, well, I never went on my school trip because I was training. Minche brought up when she went to the beach with her friends, but she doesn't remember. That's not the only thing she says. She also says that nothing lasts forever, which is true, but she also says, and that's not always a bad thing. I don't remember nothing lasts forever, and that's not always a bad thing. What exactly happened between the group? You know what time it is, guys. It's theory time, and I have three on why Hido doesn't remember going to the beach with her friends. Number one, time goes on, you tend to forget some stuff that happens in the past. Understandable happens all the time. Number two, maybe the fight between the five was so bad, she doesn't want to remember them. And number three, number three is a little far-fetched. Maybe Hito got into an accident and lost some of her memories. That's why she doesn't remember. The reason why I say that is because Hito does have some current injuries. Her toes and the bruise on her arm. And if you guys don't remember the bruise on her arm, it was when she rolled up her short sleeve. This, this was when she was at the beach. She rolled up her short sleeve and Ijin saw that she had a bruise on her arm. I mean, when you're fencing, the other person is going to hit you with their sword on your left arm a lot. So, yeah. I'm going to say this one last time. This episode was definitely a feel-good one. You know, just seeing our characters just hang out, you know, have fun at the beach. Feel-good moment. Definitely. But that ending, that ending definitely outshined everything that we saw, you know. All it took was just those three lines. I don't remember. Nothing lasts forever. And that's not always a bad thing. Now I'm super, super curious on where are the other characters in current time. I mean, we know where Hido's at. Ijin is there. Maybe. I mean, I did have a theory, but he's there. Now I want to know where Jiung, Sungwan, and Yudim is at. Is Yudim and Jiung together? Is Sungwan married? Do they have their own kids? Or, you know, stuff like that. Man, the fact that she doesn't remember is... It's crazy, and it's her first trip with them. You know, out of the five, I would consider Yudim a pretty lucky person to still have her parents still be together and with her. You know, her parents weren't forced to get a divorce. They weren't forced to split up and live in different areas of the country. You know, they, they still love her. Um, but for the other characters, yeah, I feel bad for them. You know, everyone's family situation is different. Everyone has their own story, which I do appreciate them highlighting that at their beach trip. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, we've always seen them, you know, just having fun and whatnot. But, but for them to get that, that serious moment, you know, I think that's what the characters needed to really solidify that this is, this is a group of friends, you know. They have fun when, whenever they want to have fun, and they can have serious talks. And yeah, I'm just going to end it here. That's pretty much the gist of the episode in my review. Oh yeah, leave in the comments what you guys think about my theory on why Hito forgot. You know, is it the first theory where, you know, time goes on? The second one had a big fight to the point where she wanted to forget them. Or the third one, she got into an accident. I hope it's not the third one, because that's a little too much, in my opinion. But yeah, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.